Welcome to Crazy Downs 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Ding. All right, Jonas, I got one for you today. Nice, dude. I thought you had one on Monday, but I guess we'll have one on Friday instead. <laughs> no, yeah, we waited a couple of days. It took me that long to find material. <laughs> Slow news week. All right, Jonas. Um, Have you ever, have you ever gotten revenge on somebody? I'm not a big revenge person. No, okay. I'm okay. more of like, karma's going to get you. Okay, okay. Like... Yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I'm Has anybody like, ever taken revenge on you? I don't think it, no, because I've never Ooh. done anything to anyone that would require them to do revenge. So, so you don't know if they have. Because, I mean, I guess I don't know if they have. Right? Because not all revenge is something that you even know about. Yeah, I pe- swear to God, if you're putting my toothbrush between your butt cheeks, <laughs> I'd be mad. Is this, is that, Again, is, is that where this is going? <laughs> guess might. what? I want to tell you about a a Texas woman. Okay. Who contracted an STD? Oh, I did hear about this. You did this. hear about uh, this, uh, okay? This yes. was after a janitor allegedly urinated in a water bottle that she was using, causing her, when she drank it, to get herpes. Right, because, yeah, I heard that he was, like, putting his, his penis in, in, the, yes. in the top of the bottle and yes. stuff. Yes. Yeah, and and they th- they also said they think that more people in the office. This comes after yeah. the three other victims came forward saying is that they also contracted herpes from they don't know where. And it seems odd to me because if my girl comes home from work talking about now she got herpes, I'm like, we're getting a divorce. You know, <laughs> that's a divorce. Like I don't know where you got it either, but you didn't get it from me, and yeah. that's all I need to know. And see ya. <laughs> But apparently they set up cameras and they actually caught him in the act of yeah, doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a 50-year-old man that was going around the office just dipping his dipstick in people's water bottles, giving them the herpes. Well, here's, well, here's the weird thing, though, about that. I mean, there's many weird things about that. <laughs> here's the weird thing? No, so, like, okay. So in order to transmit herpes, yes. you have to, like, have an open sore... Oh, touch, you're making it worse. Yeah. Touch, yeah. A por- like a like a mucousy membraney part of your body, lips, right? Yeah, lips, so, pretty so, much that. And, yeah. And, and yeah, it's not very often that HSV two, which is genital herpes, gets put on the mouth, right? Like it can happen, but it's more like privates to privates, right? So, okay. so this dude would have had to have open sores and left his 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 goo ah! on the bottle okay, to Jonas. a point that thank it you. didn't dry out Jonas, and it you. still was mucusy enough to get uh, on their soft oh, lips. Thank you, Jonas. I think you said enough. <laughs> I wanted to really paint a picture for everybody. <laughs> I think I think we get it. But like that. Okay, I guess my point to all that besides uh, yeah, gross, besides the gross out factor uh, is. That almost seems it's almost like a unicorn situation because, like, the fact that he had the sores, he put the sore stuff on the bottles, it stayed, it stayed mucousy and dro- wet oh, enough okay, to yeah. get on there, yeah. And yeah. then they got it, contracted it, and whatever. Like, dude, that is not a like that's not a like a one in five chance situation. Uh, look, man, I don't know much about. <laughs> the science behind putting herpes on a water bottle to make somebody else contract it. Yeah. I'm not that guy. All right. So I'm not well, gonna... right. But I mean, just so, like. So I'm not going to claim to be. I don't know. All I know is that the dudes are fucking disgusting. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. He... And obviously he did it if four people said that, like, it happened to them and then they catch the dude in the act. Boom. Well, but even if you caught it from like you're you cheating on your husband, you caught it on your 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 side dude. Either way, you can blame well, it but on here's him. The other thing is like, do they did they have do they have sores? Is that how they know? Like, did sores pop up on their mouth? I mean, yeah, I guess that'll do it, right? Yeah, like, like I said, even if one of those ladies caught herpes from some dude she was cheating on her husband with, hey, I'm blaming it on Lewis. She got to get out a cheat free card. <laughs> yeah, base. I'm blaming it on Lewis. Uh, by the way, Lewis also got me pregnant, honey. Sorry. <laughs> his, his, his <laughs> he her- snuck seed onto my he water put bottle. Seed I drank there it. And it got into. <laughs> yeah, dude. That that is just that's like the the people who just like yeah. It's now granted herpes won't kill you. 
like no, AIDS, like no. AIDS will. Like I know that yeah. if some if you have AIDS and you screw someone without a condom and don't tell them, like that's like a felony. It is like a felony because you're basically it's basically like manslaughter in a way. But on the same note, if you have herpes and you have unprotected sex with somebody and you do not inform them, there's that is still a crime too. Oh, absolutely. But yes. that's that's consensual. It's just not as probably as not as uh, no. high level of a crime as no, AIDS. No, no, it because it won't. Not. It's because it, it will never will it change your life forever. Absolutely. Yeah. Will it kill you? No. You're yeah, not going to yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. But it comes with a whole another level of stuff. Yes. That is medical bills. And... Well, yeah. Well, and and stigma and like yeah, and just yeah, you know, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of a lot of stuff. It's just yeah. It is. It, I just it it. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just to think of some dude doing that is the most disgusting thing I could I could possibly think of. Yeah, that's pretty foul. And I've I've done some pretty messed up things in my in my life. I am not going to talk about them all here. I'm a changed man and I yeah. find that it's more relevant to deal with the future than to dwell in the past. Absolutely. But I have never purposely given somebody herpes through a water bottle and I can say that with a clear conscience. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I've never done anything that devious. Yeah, like I just can't it it disappoints me that there's people that are that – they have that effed up of a head where they're just like, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. I'm going to rub my herpes penis on these people's water bottles. Yeah, like, yeah. Really? Of all all the things that you could do in your life, that's that's what you're doing. And what it, did this lady do to him? That's – that is where I was going to go with it next. I was going to say, I kind of want to know what the backstory was. Because was it like, they didn't get along. She, she said some things. She might have did some things. Maybe she, she, what if she like hit his kid with a car? Well, There's so many different also, things that could have happened. they did say, I did say too, that he is, he is in this country illegally. Okay. Uh, maybe she was just straight up racist to him and ignorant that could, that and rude. Been. And he was like, F you lady. Like, I mean, I'll show it, you. No, or, that doesn't justify no, one yes. bit. <laughs> Just like, just, You're racist towards me, so I'm gonna give yeah. you herpes. I would have been like, all right, you punch her in the parking lot. I would have been like, all right, punch that's her in a, the parking lot. I mean, right? I get it, but you know, you're still a dick. But giving her herpes, dude, you're going to prison. Yeah, you're going. You got. Well, you got to go to prison. Like, you got to sit down for that too. So was it like? Did oh, they all yeah. mess with him, or did he like oh, after yeah. the first one? He was just like, oh man, this is nice. I want to do this some more. Like, where do you? Where do you? What? I can't even wrap my head around the thought process of. Why you would think that would be okay? I mean, obviously he was just, he was enraged, man. Well, I mean, sociopath and a sociopath, right? Exactly, and that's why I say it's probably an act of revenge because I, <laughs> it, I mean, if he's a true sociopath, antisocial, then yes, he just didn't be like, haha, I'm causing chaos in the world. He's just like true chaotic evil. Uh, but if he was getting revenge, then it's like you, I'm trying to humanize him to some degree, even though it's it's probably more column A of he, just sociopath, and he just wants yeah, to cause chaos. Yeah. He's yeah. like, I don't like this lady for whatever reason. I'm going to make her life hell. And, and the worst thing is that they're not even going to get anything out of it except for justice because he's a damn janitor. They ain't getting no money out of it. He's a damn janitor. You can't even sue. You got to sue the building. You got to sue the person who hired him or something. Yeah, I don't even know how that works. Yeah. Like, that is that is just disgusting. I don't, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't, I never got, I never get when people just do stuff with people just to like, hurt them or mess with them or... you worked in fast food have you ever seen anybody spit in a sandwich before uh i mean i was a teenager back then yeah, I, and that, that would be more mean? likely i guess for it to happen let me what, did what anything ever happen i will say is that i've definitely seen it happen I, i've definitely seen it i worked in fast food for for when i was younger and i've definitely seen it happen and i'm like yo that's see. effed up dude um that's effed i have not ever seen it happen i don't okay. think okay but you've heard tales not at my restaurant I work really? at. Really? You guys were that? You guys were... I wouldn't have trusted anything that came out of that kitchen. The only reason I ate there is because I knew everybody. Yeah, we were all friends with you, and you were like, yeah, that's going to like, right, they, they don't have to spit my food. Yeah, like, no, I don't think... But looking at you guys, I would have definitely thought you were the most spitting in sandwiches ass crew that ever existed. Yeah, dude, no, I am... Um, I think... I think I... Even when I was like a rebellious teen, I always had a pretty high level of respect for the average person. All right, that's like I up. like just as, at, at like that human level. Like yeah. I've always, I think, always my whole life, I've tried to like, is is as, as goody two shoes as this going to sound? Follow the golden rule of like, would I want someone to do this to me? And if the answer was no, 
I probably am not going to do it. All right. You you're, know, not, just, you're not just saying this because you can still be culpable for crime. No, absolutely not. Yeah, right. no, no, no. Right. I would. No, dude. I think messing with people's food is a real D thing to do. It is. Even if like you see things like, oh, the cops came in and we spit in their burger. Like, I'm like, why? What did he do to you? What if they were a douchebag at the at the checkout counter? He'll get his later. I, I'm, I, I like to just leave it on karma to get him back mm-hmm. than to really try to give revenge on anybody because right. I ain't trying to mess up my juju, man. Like, I'm trying to I'm trying to bring good into my life. I ain't trying to put out bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jonas. You know what? Honestly, I'm, I'm not even going to bring a counterpoint. I feel like that is a great ideal to leave the community with. Right, <laughs> right yeah. Let's Go to crazytown.com uh, for Jonas. For TNT. Oh, yeah.